Hi everybody, welcome to my channel. My name is Pixie Love. You guys can call me Pixie. And today we're doing some R slash fat logic. I have nothing cute and witty to say for this video today. So let's just jump into this craziness. Medical re recommendations for intentional weight loss are unethical. You know what's unethical? Giving birth to a baby and having a hospital steal your baby and adopt it out. That's unethical. Telling a patient to lose weight because it has been proven that being at a smaller weight can extend your life is not unethical. It has been proven that being at a smaller weight makes you less likely to have certain diseases. That's not unethical. It's a recommendation. You don't have to listen to your doctor's recommendation. My doctor told me that I, for me to lose weight that I should completely cut out white food groups like bread, potatoes, pasta. <laughs> All the fucking good shit. Did I listen? No. Did I cut back on them a lot? Yes, I did. I really did. But, you know, he it's a recommendation. You don't have to lose your weight. You just have to keep hearing about it every time you fucking go to the doctor. You know, it, it's fine. A person can be at the highest end of the weight spectrum and have anorexia. We call it atypical anorexia. But that the anti-fat bias of the eating disorder field. So let's not just collide it with, with fat and just call it what it is, anorexia. Actually, there is something called atypical anorexia, but there's different types of anorexia. All right, so there are different types of anorexia. I believe there's regular, just plain on anorexia. There's anorexia nervosa, and I guess now there's atypical anorexia. Like, it's, it's still anorexia, yes, but it is different than like anorexia nervosa, which is like one of the really popular ones. It literally in the definition of that one, it is an extremely un low weight person who is afraid of food. Like I don't know the exact definition, so please do not. I mean, you guys can educate me down at the bottom. Please do. Um, I just don't, I'm not in the mood to go on my big rant where I like look stuff up right now. So I'm not gonna do that. But there are different types of anorexia. <sighs> God, this fucking person, I'm just like, I'm annoyed, but I'm also in the same way right now. I'm not looking up the information to educate myself right now, so I can't be like, educate yourself, <clears throat> which I probably will. I will educate myself, I'm just not going to do it while I'm recording this video. But like, this person is just like, we have Google now. We can look things up. It's not about being anti-fat. Uh, eating disorders are very complex that we can't put, like all similar things into a freaking category that's why there's bulimia anorexia binge eating disorder just plain out like it's just there's different types of eating disorders because people react to food differently now when you are an atypical anorexic i feel like it's probably someone tell me if i'm wrong but there are people who are anorexic who weight fluctuates a lot you know like people who get really down to being underweight and then they gain a lot of weight and then they get back down to being underweight and they gain a lot of weight. Like it's people like that maybe. I don't know. Please, you know, let me know what the difference is down at the bottom. You know, I'll probably also look it up when I'm done here. But, you know, let me know. You know, I know a lot of you guys are smarter than me. So just let me know down below, okay? And just like, and please let this person know that they're, they're wrong. Yes, there is hardship in life. And a fat body, but there are but there are such stunning gifts too. So many of us are the people we are: thoughtful, kind, dedicated. Not in spite of our fatness, but because of it. I am trying to think of a gift that I've had because I'm fat. None. A gift that I have because I'm black. My beautiful, thick, fucking afro. That's my genetics. You know, my beautiful hair. Um, my gift for being fat, I guess my knee pains, mm. I guess, yeah, that, um, what else? Oh, my pre-diabetic, -di that, that's fun. Slightly high blood, blood pressure, oh my god, thank you. Like, you know what, I, I do have one, I do have a gift. I, um... I've learned to completely love myself in my fat body. Yeah, I, I, I don't know if like, if I stayed, you know, being skinny or, or like normal size my whole freaking life, if I would be as self-confident as I am. Cause then I just be comparing myself to people who look like me and blah, blah, blah. 
but I did learn that like I'm a bad bitch <laughs> at the end of the day and I'm just getting better that's all you know so I did learn to like love who I am and love myself enough to like want to stay here and want to be active and healthy and have fun and not have any restrictions on my body like I know the next post is going to talk about the system that's oppressing us you know it's fat people but like even if like society didn't put restrictions on like oh you can't do this at a certain weight oh you can't do this at a certain weight blah 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 blah, blah. even if they didn't do that there's still less you can do because your body aches more and don't fucking tell me it doesn't okay like I'm five seven, almost five eight, and I'm like two eighty five, right? But I couldn't imagine someone being five foot and weighing as much as me. Like, or someone being five three, weighing three hundred pounds. Like, that's a lot of weight on your tiny body. How do y'all do it? And you cannot tell me you're not in pain. Like, you can't tell me that. The blame is on the system that we live in that oppresses fat people and people in larger bodies. Our bodies are not the problem. I told you guys, they were talking about how this system oppressed us fat people. How can I say this without getting freaking angry? It's just like, at the end of the day, the decisions you have made in your life, especially as an adult, are what has led up to your body. It could have started when you were a child, like mine did, but if you continue to make the same bad decisions and bad patterns as you did as a kid and so it's adulthood, it now becomes your issue. Like, I fully accept responsibility for me being over fat. Even though I think my family could have done more when I was, like, still in middle school and high school and gaining weight. But I'm an adult now. I'm making the same fucking decisions. So, I can't blame anyone else but myself at this point. Hard to swallow pills. There is no proven way to lose weight and keep it off long term. There is no proven health benefits to losing weight. Everything we think about obesity is corporate marketing. Literally wrong about everything that's coming out of your mouth right now. There has been <laughs> proven ways to lose weight. Now, I guess this is my thing. You guys are so high on diet culture that you think your doctor is a part of diet culture. No, your doctor wants you to lose weight. And, like, if you are serious about losing weight with your, with your doctor, they will, like, send you to a nutritionist. They will, you know, send you to someone who... They'll send you to, a per like, recommend you a personal trainer. Like, they'll sh send you to people who are willing to help you in a healthy way. Not people who are going to tell you to... Oh, you know, eat this the slim fast diet or we're going to go on keto and not eat certain shit for like the rest of our fucking lives and blah, 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 blah. Like, no, they want you to lose weight in a healthy way. When I was younger, I saw a nutritionist. She was really nice, really helpful. My mom did not listen to a word that bitch said. <laughs> but, you know, we saw one and it's just. It's so freaking fun. and the, the no health benefits like as me as a young 20 something right now I have I ha I'm not like I don't have diabetes or anything I don't have you know high cholesterol or anything I do have high blood pressure but that is something that runs in my family almost everyone in my family has high blood pressure so I will contribute that to my weight but that's also a genetic thing for me as well so it's just Something that just runs in my family, especially on my mom's side. I'm not sure about my dad's side. But, like, it's... But all my ranges are, like, close to being in the danger zone. You know what I mean? And so, like, if I lost weight right now, they would go down and nothing would really change. If I stayed my weight for another 5, 10 years, um, I can guarantee you I would start having some issues that losing weight would help. I already have some issues that losing weight would help now. I like can't be seated for a long time. Like when I come off for work, my job, I'm on my feet all day. I wanna come home, sit on my computer and just relax, right? So let's say I come home, I don't go to the gym that day. I get off at like 5.30, I'm home by six. You know, let's just say I get home at six and I get on my computer roughly around six. I can be on my computer until like 11.30. So that's like 11, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 
11, that's like six hours just sitting on my fucking computer. And when I have to get up, oh my god. It's like, oh my, my body is just like so stiff from being sanitary. Like, my knees are just like, bitch, you haven't been on me in a while. Now you want to hurt. Like, and I do get up to use the bathroom and eat. But like, it's just... It's, like, painful just to get up. And sometimes when I wake up in the morning, it's gotten a lot better. But, like, sometimes when I wake up in the morning, my body's like, oh, I gotta get used to all this weight on me. Hold on. Like, it's, it's ridiculous. And those things would change if I was smaller. Because I'm only 24 years old. It's not like I'm 50 years old and I can just attribute to my age. I'm 24. I should not have knee problems at 24. I, sh like, luckily I don't have any back problems or anything yet. It's, it's literally just, like, knee problems. Like, I shouldn't have these problems at my age. I should be able to run around, you know, jump, flip. And I used to be able to do that stuff all the time. Like, when my, my, niece and nephew, my nieces are here, they like to go outside and flip and stuff. And I've been, you know, t car, uh, coaching them on their cartwheels and their flips and stuff like that. Even my nephew, he loves to flip. And I've been coaching him. He could do flips I can't do, but I'm a, I'm a technique person. So I've been training him on his technique. I like can barely show them what to do anymore like I can't even do a one-handed cartwheel anymore Ugh. like my round offs are starting to really hurt me just my regular cartwheels are starting to really hurt me I used to have so much control in my cartwheels that I can go in slow motion and control my landing but I can't do that now because like I don't have any control so it's just like if I was in a smaller body it would be a lot easier to do this shit like, and that's why I'm trying to lose weight, so I can have children. So I can be active with my children. Sorry to my nieces and nephews, I can't be active with you guys right now. But, like, and I like how everything is, like, corporate marketing. Our doctors are, like, I spent way too much time on this post. I'm just so annoyed. Let's keep going. Alright, that's gonna be it for this video. I hope you guys liked this video. If you guys did, make sure you guys leave me a like. If you guys like me, make sure you guys subscribe, because I do videos Monday through Friday. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye-bye.